Hi guys, it's me again, Jomer Aguilon from Cream 3A. So for today's video, we'll be having our final reflection. So in my first uh, reflection in the final, which entitled No Limit Ang Here, this novel was written by Dr. Jose, Jose Pirizal. <clears throat> to open our eyes as a Filipino, uh, to see all the harassment to our country uh, was going on in its the time to fight our freedom as a Filipino. So, it presented the mistreatment and grief. Also, it showed the inner works of the Spaniards of their selfishness, cruelty, and abuse. So, I've learned uh, from this writing of Rizal. So, it described the, lo described, uh, the love of our country and family. So, despite of all the sufferings and pain, we must keep on trying to do our best to fulfill our freedom and to help others. So, this No Limitang Hirip also presented forgiveness and also for the important theme in this results novel is sacrifice. So, for the second one is the El Filibusterismo. El Filibusterismo, written by Dr. Jose Perizal, demonstrate how someone can harbor resentment and grow the serious of vengeance. So, I am aware that everyone wants to be a good in to favor doing uh, what is right over doing what is wrong so being a decent person is rewarding so if not entirely in the scene of benefit but at least in the sense that uh, we know we did the right thing in our hearts are filled with such a sense of elation so Elfili wish to teach us always try I to always try our best and never get caught up in doing wrong violence is not the solution to the problem uh, we face in life so according to El Filibusterismo uh, the El Filibusterismo is dark and brutal with several instances of murder sexual assault and suicide so we need to stop and consider uh, whether we really want to cloak ourselves in violence hatred or anger so the next one is the Rizal law which is the Republic Act 1425. So, the principal uh, opponent of Dr. Jose Rizal, or the Rizal Law, in the discussion was uh, Claro M. Recto. So, while Jose P. Laurel defended the proposal, so they advocated for the Rizal Law because they value uh, Rizal's work and want to, be, want to be able to recognize uh, not just Rizal but also our heroes who gave other lives to defend our country's freedom from invaders. So, when I was in high school, Rizal Law was explained to me or to us because they claimed that it was a hot topic in 1950s, which piqued my interest or naging interesado lahat, hindi naman lahat, pero yung may interesado sa topic ay talagang nakikinig. So, I discovered that this is an interesting topic when I learned that there were people uh, who fought for all Filipinos to see uh, results work and made them aware na something, some things that they could learn or use someday possibly even in our daily lives after reading these books. So I believe that modernizing or altering our political system can also benefit our government. So one of the things we need to have a have is appreciation because it's a way to express gratitude. So, the next one is the Claro M. Recto and the Rizal Bill. So, when I was in high school, a Rizal Law was explained to me because, as I said earlier, that it was a hot topic in the 1950s. So, also, I believe that modernizing or artering uh, politi political system can also you know, benef benefit the government which uh, one thing is we need to appreciate it because it's a way na nag-express tayo ng ating kabutihan or pag pagmamalasakit so the next one is by telephone or por telefono so, in the satri uh, satirical comedy of poor telephone or by telephone, Father Font uses a telephone line sponsored by the Trans Oceanic Telephone Co. 
while in Madrid to communicate with a local priest at San Agustin Monastery. So the symbolism in Puerto Lipuno is extensive. So it unveils how uh, uh, friars friars uh, live their lives, how they abuses and also uh, misconduct. So even in real life, we are having a bad conversation of our enemy. The funny side of ourselves will always go out. So in real life, we must be good at all costs or at all times. So don't spread rumors or chismes because that might be the start of an argument or it may lead into a worst fight. So the vision of Father Rodriguez. So Jose Rizal, a national hero of the Philippines, Philippine, as we know. So this pe- uh, depicts a uh, discourse between Saint Augustine and the Augustinian priest fr- Friar Jose Rodriguez in his comedy, or the vision of Friar Rodriguez. So Jose Rizal satire, uh, la vision de Fray Rodriguez or the vision of Father Rodriguez. Uh, conversation between, as I said earlier, the Saint, Saint Augustine and Augustinian priest Friar Jose Rodriguez. So Saint Augustine goes on uh, crit- criticize the Friar's lack of comprehension of Christian beliefs and concepts. So to punish him, Saint Augustine write about him so that the world will laugh. Or Saint Augustine writes, which is quoted so that the world will laugh at his stubbornness and foolishness so in our situation nowadays it is very crucial to act like a hypocrite as we are in different aspects in life so we can learn in this satire of jose rizal which is the vision of father uh, rodriguez that in every situation we shouldn't uh, abuse anyone mentally and physically so the last one will be the Results letter to Father Pastels, S.J. So Pablo Pastels was the Jesuit priest who attempted to convince Jose Rizal to, uh, to return to Orthodox Roman Catholicism through letters. So Father Pastels um, tries or tried his best to win back Rizal to the fold of Catholicism. So divine faith and also he told Rizal the surpassed Sarpides everything or he told Rizal to come back. So on the appreciation of pastels and Rizal's faith that no matter uh, what happened, uh, Rizal still believes in on God. So he keeps on insisting that the Catholic is the one true religion and God is the word so he should follow God. And all the revelation in the Bible is true. So but Jose Rizal denied because of or Jose Rizal denied or denied niya na mubalik siya dito ah kang Father Pastel because of Father Pastel's conditions or iyang mga kasunduan kang Rizal so it is like every one of us here that no matter how difficult the situation are we choose what we chose even though we didn't know what will be the result of or ending so that's for this video i hope you like it please like and share for anyone's additional knowledge thank you god bless goodbye